you know, you yeah, can really it's like Team Love and Team Ahor are both teams. north and south. Yeah, that, that can only happen at major Pikachu. events. Absolutely. Alright, I heard a lot of Pikachus. I think we might be seeing four rats. Someone call an exterminator. I mean, with any luck, they'll just kill each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, the, the, it, shout outs to Isabel in the background. Rats be rats. Shout outs to you, Isabel. Shout outs to you. Yeah, there, we've. I, I, I know I've seen a couple of cool cosplayers walking around. I know there's there's a Lucina walking around, and I know there's an Isabel walking around. Yeah, the Lucina's a really good cosplayer. I, I, I feel like I've seen a couple others, but I didn't necessarily know what what they were. Yeah. All right, but we're going into this. Yeah, and yep, here we have a quadrat. Very cautious start from all parties. They know how badly they can mess each other up. They know rat on rat on rat on rat is going to make sparks fly literally and metaphorically. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Alan as solid green Pika. And yeah. it looks like we've got Jaime as, as ghostly red Pika. Alright. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah, you can see, like, this This is 64 at the top level. You have to be extremely careful. Pikachu's hitboxes are just so devastating against Pikachu that, like, high level Pikachu players know how careful they have to be. That was great interference from, uh,. Alvin? Yeah, from... Or no, or no, the... no, 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 from, from Boom. Oh, he, from Boom. He, yeah, he just stayed right there on the edge and let Jaime come back. Definitely. Ooh. What the? That was crazy. Taco is, is a real uh, spark of energy. Oh, the stage hit. Oh, saved him. Yeah, it, oh, uh, that interrupts all these back throws. Yeah, so green team pulling off to something of a lead, but they're so ripe this could turn around easily. That, that one back throw is going to clip it, and right like that, this is basically an even game. Exactly. Jaime is playing uh, super just strong, making sure he's like close enough to boom, but also not giving the uh, enemy enough space. He's, he's got that good. excellent support spacing. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, that's a true talent. Yeah, it's very difficult. Playing support is, is hard because yeah. that spacing is so bizarre. And it's something that you get only with team attack on teams. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Otherwise, you could just be layered right on top of one another. It doesn't matter. Right. Oh! Interference from Alvin there. Yeah, green team making a push. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering why he's staying on the ledge, but it gave him uh, that counterplay. Yeah, he was he was waiting to be a backup. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's one thing about Pikachu. It's like Pikachu fills like two roles, mm -hmm. the be better than any other player in the game. And that's like a support role and a striker role, which is why when you put them together, it's one of the strongest teams. Period. Oh man, that uh, green team missed uh, a sort of teams combo there, uh, but they're lucky they didn't lose any uh, or gain any percent for it. Yeah, Fortunately, that'll even up the stock count yeah. again. These two teams have been going toe to toe. I know, it's such, it's great. It's just, you don't know what's happening. You're just watching these two guys just really pile up the momentum and the damage. Uh-huh. Let's see here, okay. They're so cautious on their edge guards. You have to be against Pikachu. Yeah, really. But you still, you need to be able to close out these stocks. You can't let them live. So that's why it's good. Yeah, They've been going from right our there, back yeah. air traits, like not off stage, but near, you know, towards the edge of the stage. A yeah, green team up one stock. That's not enough to to let you be crazy. But it, in a game this close, it makes a lot of difference. Oh, unfortunate team combo that actually started with green on green. And that, right, that yeah, last boom, led boom to backing the Jaime up. Stock. Not letting, uh, not letting Jaime get the punish for the throw. Oh, that should quite be enough. But now we got a two v one, and that that was that was really critical for racking him up to over a hundred percent. This edge guard. Yeah, oh green no! Green team has a percent advantage. That back should do it. Okay, so now it's a really yes. Now it's all up to Jaime on the two v one. Oh, and this percent differential is yeah, gonna be this, so hard. Yeah, this is not looking good for Jaime. Yeah, that was an interesting roll. One last shot for Jaime, really. And there we go. 
and they covered it with the down smash, and then there was a thunder if they managed to get around the down smash. Yeah, that, that would have covered reverse ledge DI, too. Oh, that's smart. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, so they, they so had... They cover basically they cover everything. Yeah. Pikachu had to come from, from low. Mm -hmm. They knew they knew exactly what to do. They ran the playbook. And like that's the thing. You don't need to have necessarily amazing team chemistry or years long in order to know how to cover all the options. Yeah. It, it comes from years of playing the game, well, not necessarily on a team. Yeah, but, you, but still framing it and setting up you, for that. You do need trust. Absolutely. You, you do need to know that your partner is going to do it. Yeah. And, and that's, that's the thing, like, we, we haven't seen Alvin play that much teams, but that doesn't mean he's not a great teams player. Yeah, for all we know, he's he's a member of the Peruvian team love. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know who he, what team went in Peru, if it's, you Jerson. know, with Jerson, yeah. Like, that seems like the obvious choice, but... But, uh, yeah, I don't necessarily know, because yeah, there are plenty yeah, of, you know, yeah, great players. Then again, like, Super Boom Fan doesn't team with, with the Z. Yeah. But the difference is, is that like there was online, you can see, you know, we're able to build up this team chemistry online. And Peru really play locally; they play console. Right. Yeah. That, that said, like Peru isn't isn't as difficult to coordinate as Mexico and Canada, in theory, at least. I, True. I imagine. Yeah, I don't know that much about Peru. I don't know if their tournaments run doubles. That's the thing that I'm not, that I'm really yeah. concerned about. Yeah, yeah, I think so it's more friendly. Yeah, that's just an, an open question that we don't really know about yeah. here in the States. But let's also be honest, whenever um, Alvin would travel, he say TP team with people, when he teamed with uh, Isaiah, you know, they won. Like, he's definitely a good team player with anyone. Yeah. He's been winning with all kinds of top players. Yeah, so even if he's he's not a legend in teams, like yeah. like all of the other players on the, on the screen right now, doesn't he's, mean he's that still he's still a legend not, in his own right. Exactly. And we know that he that he he knows what he's doing. For sure. You don't just, you know, hit doubles at yeah, super majors Listen, without being truly talented. He just took a game off of Team Mejor. Yeah. And th it's looking like they're poised to do it again. Absolutely. Yeah, they, no, this they've, momentum. They've, they've had a slight lead for the whole game. It's it's definitely true. Like they've never had enough of a lead for for, for them to feel really confident in a victory in the end. But like e even now they've got this percent lead. <laughs> they they've got Alvin uh, covering yeah, they, they've, they've got Alvin covering tacos. Yeah, but Alvin's off stage and what's he gonna do to interrupt? Oh he doesn't get a punish on it. Yeah that But that was really smart to that um boom back through and then immediately zip zapped away. Yeah. Knew that uh, what Alvin's you know intent. And that was a great adaptation coming from Boom. And now they're in a, a lead for it. It could change though because they're at both at high percent. Yeah, that that's always been the case. Red team Yeah, de exactly, and now they're at a deficit. Yeah, Red Team has managed to be at high percent for most of the game. Yeah. And that's just, you know, that like losing stocks is obviously important, but anytime you get a percent put on you, it just, it's really tough, especially in this matchup. Well, and now the game is practically even. Yeah. Tacos with, with a bit of some percent on him, but Tacos, he's also edge guarding, so he's not building up more. Oh! Oh! If he was just a little bit uh, closer to center stage on the other side, that wouldn't have killed. But that was great knowledge. Yeah, and, and again, like, red team is at a sort of high percent, green team has lost their lead. Oh, look at this percent being put on, you don't want that! Yeah, th this is something that at this point in the game will be extremely detrimental for oh green Oh my team. god, red team, Team Ahor, has really just put pedal to the metal here. Yeah, they've, they've, they've definitely been dancing. <laughs> they have really been internalizing Isaiah's advice. They've been trying their hardest not to get in. Do we see the take? We do! And he's still alive. Yeah, but one hit. Oh, is that? Yeah, that oh, was that it. That was yeah, a so he, he wasn't quite able to run the interference he needed to. He had the chance to do it. And this is but not this an is un totally doable. Two v one. Absolutely, this is absolutely in the realm of possibilities. Yeah, that said, he needs to clinch a stock off of Alvin, who's got Tacos backing him up. It's going to be hard, but he's super boom fan. If anyone's got a shot, no, this is Jaime. Prime candidate. Oh, it is Jaime. Unless Boom is, you know, playing one hand while stroking his beard. Uh, th no, it's still not allowed. <laughs> okay, yes. you're right. That, that, my apologies, that was Jaime. It's okay. And he, he was looking good, but not good enough. No, it's really hard. I mean, you need to play flawlessly. Yeah. You drop one thing when you're getting edgeguarded by double Pika. That's not, <laughs> that's not ideal. To say the least. You have, because then you have to wait on them to drop something. Like, there's only, you don't have a good mix-up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially when those Pikachus are Tacos and Alvin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we've seen that they already know how to cover the options. I mean, they've made it to Winner's Finals, and they're up 2-0 on Team Mayor. They know those options. They yeah, know how to cover They're looking really good. 
Oh, really happy to see Tacos back in action. He's oh, yeah. um, definitely always been one of my favorite 64 players. I, I definitely share that opinion. I always enjoy seeing him. I, I always really enjoy seeing Team Love. Yeah. And, and he, he's been running a show with Alvin as well. Absolutely. Alvin, he's really saying, it's like, look, I'm really good. I, as long as I team with uh, someone who's also really good, do not count me out. Yeah, but like I say, it's not just someone who's really good. It's someone who's really good at, at teams. teams. Yeah, no, you're, you're totally right. Because, like, Tacos takes chemistry with him. Yeah. And, like, that, a good teams player will do that. Will will induce chemistry where otherwise there would simply not be any. And I do feel like, by and large, the green team has been sticking to sort of the, the, the game plan of sending in uh, Alvin as a striker and letting... Uh, tacos, let, yeah, like, letting tacos sort of yeah, hang back with support and knowing exactly when to pick his moments to approach or interrupt. And I, I think with with these two players' particular skill sets, that's exactly the right thing to do. And they, yeah, and they have been making it work. They're up 2-0 against Mehor. Yeah, they haven't needed to make any major game plans and rolls. It's just more decisions, which is perfect. That's what you want. You want to have the meta, the uh, large gameplay figured out, and focus more on micro adaptation and having to switch everything. Yeah. And that said, like this, all these games have been very close. This has been excellent team play from all parties. Was that reverse ledge DI on the I, thunder? It was very strange. Oh, okay. Good um reaction from Boom there. Green team. Did not up, get, uh, about one and a half stocks. And that was oh. great ledge holding. And now Green Team's starting to pull away. That was an amazing tech chase. Cover all the options. And they're really putting down pressure. But that was great support for Boom. Yeah, Alvin being the tank. Alvin just not refusing to die. He has not lost a single stock. Yeah. Oh, this double combo is... Oh no, and Heimer went off stage. Oh, great! Great awareness there! That was an amazing team trade. And the green team just refusing to die! <laughs> I know, seven total. I'm now six, but jeez. Versus three! Yeah, living to 171%. God, Alvin is really showing his stuff. We yeah. should never have doubted him, is what he's saying, with his gameplay. Absolutely. Man, yeah. six to six two. Six to two. It's looking like Green Team is wrapping this one up. Yeah, <laughs> wrapping up in a body bag. Yeah, it's it's looking like I it's it's looking to me like Red Team was just not able to keep up the pace. Yeah, no, exactly. Green Team like has the, never dipped in their momentum yeah, the, or you know, yeah, the, the energy. The wind just sort of got taken out of their sails, and Green Team is still going full speed ahead. I think losing last game really just like kind of damaged them um, mentally. I I would I would think so. I would think that that that'd be a sort of hard game to come back from. Mentally. Yeah, I, I think they've been a little uh, antsy. Um, Team Mayhor since then, and that's wow. That Rio. Rio over Team Mayhor. You got Takus and Alvin sitting in grand finals. Team Mayhor is going to. Uh, to play a team that is not yet determined, it's going to be any combination of um, right. Uh, well, we have we have four. 